Business Intelligence BI facilitates executives in making informed decisions. In this video, we will see the development process behind a BI project. The purpose of BI have been explained in the previous video and if you have not watched it yet, I would recommend you to do so. Now, how do executives make informed decisions in an organization? There would be interactive reports, dashboards, ad hoc analysis, patterns, trends, etc. There are business aspects and technical process involved in creating the right reports and dashboards. The right data set must be gathered, integrated, prepared for analysis and distributed to the right people for action. This video demonstrates the purpose driven business mindset and simplified technical process behind BI development. And of course, this concept would be illustrated with help of an analogy. So stay tuned till the end. Hi, my name is Vinayak Panchaman and welcome to Data Delimited. An effective BI project should focus on providing actionable insights. An effective BI development process should not begin with data, but with understanding business and stakeholder requirements, followed by defining key performance indicators. In this order, I would first understand the business, next the data, then decide on the tools and techniques to create insights based on the particular BI requirement. Now, the better you understand the business and the process, the better you might be able to deliver the right reports with the right visuals and insights so that business stakeholders could take right actions. And that's about the business mindset part of the process. Now, let's get into the technical part of it. Now, let me explain the process with an everyday analogy. Almost everyone has been to a restaurant and ordered a dish, isn't it? So getting the dish to our table involves a process. The process begins with the purchase of ingredients such as vegetables, meat, fruit, grain, dairy products, spices, etc. Now all the items are then cleaned, sorted and stored accordingly. For example, the perishable items are stored in a refrigerator or freezer, if it is not in specific containers, etc. Now imagine you have ordered a pasta. It is only necessary for the chef to select flour, salt, egg, vegetable, meat, spice, etc. when preparing a pasta. For preparing pasta, he only uses ingredients that are necessary. As soon as the order is prepared, it is served to your table. Now imagine the product as a sales report or a dashboard instead of pasta. The process begins with extraction of data from multiple sources such as SQL or non-SQL servers, flat files, emails, log files, web pages, customer resource management tools, ERPs, spreadsheets and logs, etc. Storing it in a staging location which we call data extraction, similar to the restaurant sourcing the ingredients. The next step is to transform the data in the staging area to make it suitable for analysis. This process of transforming raw data into meaningful data set is called transformation. The process is similar to cleaning and sorting ingredients in the restaurant. The next step is to load the data into a destination which can either be a database or a data warehouse. Data size and complexity as well as organizational needs determine the type of destination. This is similar to storing the ingredients in a restaurant. Now from this destination, the data can be further utilized for many purposes, one of which is business intelligence or BI. Our role as a BI developer begins here, but we closely work with data engineers to understand how the data is stored and to provide the data we need to fulfill the end goal of reporting or visualization. Now, as a BI developer, we will not have to bring all the data from the data warehouse into the BI tool to make a sales report, isn't it? Similar to how a chef used only selected ingredients to prepare pasta. Perhaps we don't need HR or purchase data to put up a sales report. We would take a subset of data, which means only the tables which are required to fulfill the purpose of sales report. Then we prepare the data as the business demands like adding a calculated or conditional columns, preparing calculated measures, integrating the right visuals needed for the particular scenario, consolidating these visuals and tables to make a report or a dashboard, 
preparing the right navigation schema, implementing the right security levels and then sharing the reports so that the business could take actions upon. This process which will be followed in a larger organization or a larger project. However, BI tools could be beneficial for smaller organizations or smaller projects as well. So what if the organization or team doesn't have to deploy a data warehouse or maintain any data engineering resources since it probably do not have that much volume or velocity of data to store in a server but still wants to do analysis and use BI tools to gain insight to strategize or to take actions. Yes, they can do that. Let's return to the same analogy of pasta. What if you don't want to go out to eat the pasta every time, instead prepare it at home sometimes? If you prepare pasta in your own kitchen, you might not buy all the ingredients as in a restaurant. Instead, you would go to the market to purchase the only required ingredients and prepare it in your kitchen. The same way, any self-service BI tool has the capability of connecting directly to the source applications as you see here. Power BI has all those built-in connectors so that we can directly connect to the sources, pull those data you need and prepare the reports or dashboards to meet the business needs. That's about the technical process involved uh, in a BI development for a larger project or a smaller project. Hope you got a pretty good uh, overview of the process involved. Watch my next video where I would be sharing both the technical skill and the soft skills you would need to be an awesome BI developer. If you like this video, please do subscribe and visit our website datadelimited.com. We will be adding a lot of resources out there for you to download. And if you are a reading person, please do check out the blog section in our website.